Well, Larry Butler, uh, around about this time last night, managed to provide us with one of the most exciting moments of the day. And uh, although Scott Mitchell, who's been commentating with us, was at the end of that, I think it was very reasonable about it and he knows that he had his opportunity to see off the American but at the moment everything's going right for Larry and uh, he uh, you can see there has had some pretty good scalps I mean I mentioned yesterday that uh, Dennis Arbour is no mean achievement but defeating him and of course he's qualified for the Grand Slam next month in November uh, in uh, Wolverhampton so everything's going right and uh, while everything's going right you make the most of it but he's playing against a man who's seeded number 14 in Madras Rasma and uh, we could be in for another close finish here it was a close finish last night for Butler but what a start Alan couldn't ask for a better start than that we started today or we started yesterday with 16 different nations we started today with nine of them left at least one is going to disappear here because uh, it's Latvia versus the United States of America in our uh, penultimate game of the day the, uh, the bald eagle who by the way strikes a very earringly similar look to my uncle Colin but there you go <laughs> <laughs> had to look twice yesterday it's been nice to see Larry again known him a long time the um world match play that Richard mentioned that he won uh, of course was 21 years ago and uh, I was just making a note earlier of uh, the people he beat in winning that you know he beat Dennis Priestley in the final but uh, names that may be familiar to you Steve Raw, Jerry Umberger an American legend Jockey Wilson and Shane Burgess before beating Dennis Priestley in the final and I remember it not all of those games but I remember the occasion as though it were if not yesterday the day before and it's always to renew acquaintance with old friends 139. good 139 from Butler but Rasma can play so not going to be a pushover Big Jockey Wilson on the way to that as well it's uh, Shane Burgess Steve Raw and Jerry Umberger. Umberger yeah, that's yeah. Right. Those are the names, those are the names he. Yeah. 52. I think it's fair to say, and I think he'd answer this exactly the same way. He's just never managed to, to, to regather that, hasn't he? He's never managed to do it again. And that's a remarkable thing in itself. Well, it is, although, of course, back home in America, he's, he's won many, many titles. And uh, uh, I thought he'd. Have I thought after that he'd have been over in, in this country as he wins that first leg uh, in the same way that John Tart made this his second home traveling admittedly across the Atlantic back back and forth and I thought that would be the case with Larry it wasn't to be although he has been back here several times since but not on a regular basis yeah but it's nice to see now that his career is uh, reinvigorated if that's the right word to use and uh, certainly have enjoyed his most recent stay in the UK because he's got a bit longer to last yet I presume he's going home and then coming back again Uchi from earlier still in good spirits both of the uh, female Japanese contestants put up one heck of a fight in yeah, their games well. didn't they it's one of the again one of the pleasing aspects of the two days so far of this tournament seeing the uh, excellent excellent uh, progress being made by those Japanese uh, lady players Whoa. ah yes I said he could play darts and there you are first 180 in the match and uh, on his way possibly to leveling up at one leg all in this opening set well they call him Razma Taz and he hasn't left it in the locker room he's brought it out with him Razma strikes a 180 is it enough to win his first leg 58 well Butler doesn't have a finish so uh, Rasmus 58 not all that bad leaves him a 1-2-3 to get out and uh, <laughs> Larry Butler quite clearly just said come on 
Mad as you acquire 123. Yorkshire Reds are here. That's what it says. Now then, treble 18. Leaves the ball. Oh, you don't get closer to the ball than that. Other than bouncing off the wire. That was a great, great effort. Fifty-nine. Matters you require. Well, Matters has—he's uh, only ever got as far as the last thirty-two at the World Masters. Here he is, staring towards the quarter-finals, longingly. Needs this, you feel? Seventeen. Butler back in it. Larry one hundred and eight. Well, Larry Butler, one hundred and eight. Several ways are going. And that's the way that he didn't go last night when he had a chance at 108 but I know in the past that's been his preferred route anyway Razma now 8 then double 4 to level up double 2 now an important dart Six. and uh, well he'll rue that I think because Larry Butler now 16 16. for the set well, if Rasma was paying attention last night to Scott Mitchell, what he'll know is not to give this man too many opportunities because he'll come along and take them. Will he do this one? Eight. He hasn't, you know. Yeah, but not by much. A good effort. Unlucky. So, Rasma, come on, lean forward. Good put it in. Big lad like you. He's tall, isn't he? No score. Yes, but it may he's going to have to pick his game up I thought he was uh, thought he was very good last night he's uh, he's off to a slow start the Pirates are still here with us waiting for Wade he's coming he's coming honestly 100 yes uh, idolised in that part of West Yorkshire certainly and uh, darts like that is why he's idolised in his neck of the woods too Larry Butler hits a maximum at the start of this second set looking to break the throw and put added pressure on the Latvian 22 can you believe he follows that 180 with two in the one <laughs> that's darts so welcome Larry. to darts yeah, yeah. Well, they might be one apiece in 180s, but the uh, the only numbers that count are the ones that Larry Butler has in his favour at the moment, and that's the one in the sets column. Could do with a, a good score here to put a bit of pressure on Rasma, who might be feeling it under the TV lights, in front of the cameras. 137. Well, he asked for a score, and he certainly responded there. 92 then. That's 67 left, you come for 17s. Oh, it's unlucky. Next door, you'd have been on 52. the double Number eight. But there we are, it wasn't to be. And now Butler's given himself a bit of a chance here, 102. 82, treble 14. Well, 68 left, back to the 20s. That does require 40. So 63 left for Butler, double top here for Rasma to take the first leg in this second set. Double tennis, trouble, trouble with doubles, nearly as much as I had saying it, but trouble with doubles continues for Rasma. And if he's going to get past the experience, Larry Butler, he has got to eradicate that very quickly. Double, double, double trouble. Now then, double six. Brilliant. Pull that out. Managed to win us a leg that didn't look on, in fairness, at one stage. But with the help of one or two very good shots and one or two poor ones from his opponent, all in all, perhaps the right result. Well, Rasma has really got to change his doubles ability. Look at this nothing nada 
Well, still... you don't get a star in your book at school for naught out of ten, <laughs> you do you? <laughs> well, no. I got, I didn't know. Naught out of ten, and Rasmus will know exactly that. He knows exactly why Larry Butler is currently one-one up. One hundred and twenty-three. That's a great recovery. He steadied himself. That first dart, just the wrong side of the wire, but then hit back hard, didn't he? And about Rasmataz, more rattled he appears to be the Lapian than anything. 27 year old will uh, admit that this is uh, new territory, big territory for him. 85. And a very experienced opponent in front of him seems to have unnerved him somewhat. Can the big man come back? Oh, it's just not going his way at the moment. That's a cracking third one to keep the confidence going yeah did well the lad there didn't he to uh, not be phased by the bounce out well another 180 that's his second in the match we had three in all and uh, it puts Butler in pole position here for the attempt to take the second set 41. what a timely maximum that Five was Alan he couldn't have asked for it at a better moment if he can bag a 70 here the bald eagle will be flying towards the next round literally 54. oh close well not quite literally I, I i know what you mean now double top for a shanghai and the first leg of the match for him on the board and again he falls short Oh dear, 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 Razma yet to hit a double in what's that now, 11 attempts? And uh, Butler knows where they are. Well, Razma is being served by the Butler at the moment. Amazing stuff. And all he's doing, and we've, we've sort of touched on this with Scott a little bit earlier on, is he's just playing his own game, nice and steady, and the mistakes are coming from Rasmus, not him. Yes, and I always feel as though Butler's unaware of Rasmus' mistakes. I'm sure he is, but you almost feel as though he's in the zone, and he's, as you say, playing his game. He knows that if he plays his best game, he's going to take some beating. I, I think, think that's the, an uh, element, that's a feature of being in good form you know that you can go up and throw your darts and play your game and let the other fellow worry about you rather than the other way around i think the great what thing for larry butler at the moment is that the way that raspberry is finishing butler doesn't even need to be at a hundred percent because at the moment if you're not finishing at all 85 90 percent of your game will be good enough not for not for the entire game i can't imagine at some point rasmus must be able to hit a double but look at this Whoa. Look at this! <laughs> Stunning! John is just chuckling away next to me because Larry Butler is rolling back the years here. Yes, yeah, just what I was thinking, turning back the clock. I'm sure he's been throwing good darts for many years, but uh, that's his third 180 in successive legs. Good reply in fairness to Rasma, but uh, it's advantage Butler in this game, which is rattling along. Could be over shortly unless Rasma somehow can find a way of getting back well he's left himself I think 26 he has but he's happy with that any double will do for Butler at the moment just the ability to hit one is what Rasmus is thinking but that's a and that, again he's, he, his confidence hasn't completely gone but when he gets to the end of it he's struggling he's struggling Butler now 20 36 should I say to finish here double 18 Game oh no messing no up. messing yeah and Second Butler has Rasmus fully on the ropes here I think that uh, the scorer like me misheard the score now uh, I thought it was 26 left but 36 it was uh, correctly rectified too and well he hit it I think it hit the double 13 the way things are going anyway the man from Ohio is uh, looking in sublime form. Well, as far as Rasmus is concerned, it's hardly Dayton Accord. And uh, Butler in mean mood, and in this sort of form, you know, he could 
win his second major title in England 21 years apart 40. well he's uh, far in advance of his best ever world masters performance that's the last 72 and uh, he's <laughs> at the moment he's one step into the quarterfinals is Larry Butler he'll be uh, he'll have to wait to see who he gets look at this nothing from 11 for Rasma 45% for 81. Butler 81 rather lurched at the last dart but uh, Rasma has got to come up with something big here 133. well he's hit some fabulous scores uh, but we need say no more because he's yet to strike the outer tram lines. Meanwhile, Butler just keeps marking, marching on. Marasma gone for ball. Trying to awake himself from the slumber in Humberside. Slumberside. Oh well, yeah, that's yes. uh, that's about where we are. Double tops for Rasma next time out, which uh, normally you'd think no problem. <laughs> yes. Normally. Sixty. Well, Rasma, is he going to make it with this twelfth starter to double in this match? Good. Yes, he knows where it is after all, and uh, it's a very. phlegmatic individual he doesn't celebrate in any shape or form and I think that's just his nature yeah there wasn't even a wry smile uh, some players who perhaps struggled along would give you a little bit of a glimpse of a, a smile to, to say there you go but he's back look 140 the rot has stopped Yes, that second leg, 22 hours, is the one that uh, Rasmus should have won, and Butler stepped in because Not of Rasmus' well. inability to hit the, hit the double. So uh, well, that's not very uh, not very festive spirited, is it? Maybe they're referring to the commentators. <laughs> <laughs> Are we being miserable? Probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> Great 140. Playing well, you can't deny him that. He really is and enjoying darts like he possibly hasn't for a long time. Certainly in, in, in a competition of this magnitude. They have lots of good events over in the States and in Canada. But uh, not quite of this magnitude, in all fairness. With the glare of TV and lights, and great, f great for them to come over and, and do this. Rasma has to come up with something good here. Larry Butler has a chance to make it through to the next round with these three darts. One, two, two. Well. Wow. He was going for another treble 18 there to leave 14, double seven. 18 would have left him the bull, so uh, in the end. 90. Well, he's got his 90 to leave 32. That's a great, great dart to treble 11 to settle the score nearly. You would imagine this is 117. The way Butler's been finishing, this is 117 to stay in the Winmar World Masters 2015. Double top. When doubles haven't been your thing, he needs it. Oh, and that could be the end, you know. Yeah, and he's hit one double in 13 attempts. And that's the reason why Butler is now throwing for the match in relative comfort. And now in total comfort as he seals a place in the quarterfinals of the world match play. Much, much easier than his first round victory this time yesterday. But Butler it is.
in the last eight. Well, Larry Butler showing the rest of the field. He is here and he means business. The Bald Eagle soars into the next round. They're waving bye bye to Rasma. And we'll wave hello to the stats. Not good reading if you're Madars Rasma. These are they, John? They certainly aren't. Uh, he only had three darts at a double on his own throw. That's remarkable. Uh, uh, and, and of course, he hit the double uh, on, on one occasion, that's all. So, there we are. It's uh, a magical part of his darting life for Danny Butler. The story continues.